So in this video, we're going to talk about some different kinds of hammocks, and then covering the first and mosquito netting. Um, so this is a kind of hammock called a spreader bar hammock. This is a little hammock, uh, which is just uh, basically a net. Um, these things are cheap, even for five bucks, seven bucks. They're not very comfortable. These things also um, have these with some of the stands. Um, spreader bars really don't. How much of a place in, in uh, travel hammocks uh, have a lot of wood, just so you can see how they set. These are what most people think about when they think about a hammock. Um, the bar is supposed to help keep these things open, but they're the type that really easily tend to flip, um, and they're just not as comfortable. Any sort of hammock that has just uh, you know a, a rope set up is going to kind of dig into you a little bit more. The camping hammocks are a lot more comfortable. And the spreader bars don't do anything really as far as I'm concerned. I think as far as most people are concerned to really make them more comfortable. If you learn to get a good diagonal lay in a hammock, you'll just find the most comfortable position. These things, so you can see what they look like, I'd stay away from them too. You can do the exact same thing here. Tie it with a uh, cheap bend. So, what you will want to use if you're in a place where you climb a lot of bugs or mosquitoes, a variety of hammocks um, and bug in Bug nets on top. You don't want to use the bug net on one of these hammocks. I 
do is just turn it over and you got a regular catadynamic. So make sure you have a model that is in the So this is one by Meyer, it's called mosquito cocoon. So you've got normal, a normal catadynamic. On your ridge line, suspension ridge line, you can use that ridge line to hold up the, the bug net. So again, just tie one end. Same thing we did in the last video. Tie this again using a sheet bend to one side. All these uh, bug net hammocks come with a little uh, with a little line, but for the most part, I, I don't use that. I use my, my ridge line. So you can tie your, your ridge line up, tighten it with a trucker's hitch, it gives you a nice tight line. This one's actually about 40 bucks. Uh, same, same setup, just doesn't have bars on the top. Uh, this one comes with uh, with um, straps, free, free webbing straps, about $40. This one is called Wilcore. You can buy this on Amazon if you just pick up uh, a uh, mosquito netting hammock. This one comes up with $29. It's a smaller than the rest. It's a little small for you to go over. Um, a really common one, the common one is the ground trope. Trump Skeeter Beater, I think it's like 65 bucks, 70 bucks. Um, this is a really nice, big, strong hand, nice and big, uh, heavier than the other ones though. This one, I think it was about a pound, two ounces, and it's really nice. Um, that's the one by buyers that I think are good all around one. This is another one you see a lot. Um, it goes by a lot of different names, also costs about 30 bucks. It's too small. If you're buying any of these, if you're buying any hand, make sure you get one that is absolutely no less than nine. Between 9 and 10 feet is a typical uh, good length for I'm, I'm 5 foot 10. And anything shorter than that, this one's actually less than 9 feet, I can't sleep comfortably. I can't uh, do a good diagonal leg without a little scrunch on my shoulders. It's good for kids or for women who are maybe shorter, you know, maybe 5, 6, 5, 7, you can stay comfortably. Make sure you check the specs when buying on, online. Another option is to get a uh, bug nail like this. This is made by uh, Anna Bliss. You'll see them in the mosquito net cocoon. These cost like 50 bucks. You can buy, you know, you know. Um, the nice thing about these is you don't have to carry them if you don't need them. In the winter time, in a place where you don't need them, you carry them as an extra, uh, an extra protection. You take a normal hammock, which is a whole lot more 